In this video, I'm going to show you how you can wrap text around something like a mug in Matter Control. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. So a few weeks ago, I designed a spoon in Meta Control for the purpose to show you how you can use some simple design tools to create something like a spoon. And in this case, somebody asked me how to design a mug or how to wrap text around a round object. Well, in this case, I am going to design a beer mug or a beer bottle holder. I don't know how you would call it, but it is going about the purpose, how you can wrap text around some round objects. Well, let's get into the tutorial. So within Meta Control, we are going to start a new design. In this new design, we are going to click on cube, something like that. And then the height is going to be five. The length is going to be 180 and the depth is going to be, yeah, well, let's say like 100. So this is, this is going to be the shell of the mug. Now we are going to add some text. Well, let's go to the top view and let's make some awesome text because it is for my channel and for this purpose i'm going to call it z3dp and we have some possibilities here uh well let's say like point size is going to be uh, 30. so it's going to be a bit higher and the height of my cube was five so if i we are going to hold on to the five here as well we get some holes and we don't want that well let's say like the size height is going to be three something like that so now we are going to select that and we are going to make a second line we copy and we are pasting it and here you have the second line and there we are going to select the text and we say like beer holder something like that you can also choose a different kind of other font you can also go for audio wide or um, courgette but you have to make sure that when you are going to take one of these font sizes that you are keeping in mind for your 3D printer. Let's take a simple one. And also for this one, we also take the simple one. You can also choose poppins. Well, let's do it like that. Poppins is a little bit thicker font size and I like it like that as well. We are going to select both lines and we are going to click on align. Depending on how you want to align this or if you are going to do a single line, that is also fine. But in my case, I want to align it something like that. When I do like this, it's going to look awful and we don't want that. Now we are going to put the other one in the center or maybe here on one of the sides. I think this, this looks okay. So because I have aligned it here, it's one whole object. Now we are going to drag this object into the 
cube. As you can see, it's there. Even though you don't see it, you see the outer lines. So now we are going to select the cube as well. We are going to press shift and we click on the cube as well. Now you see here selection. Well, we are going to select align again. In this case, you can do it with the align or with the cube. Well, we take the cube, there I see some text. There, beer holder. Something like that. I think this looks amazing. You can, of course, increase it as well. If you want to do that, no problem. You are going to open the alignment that you did as last, and then you click on delete. You still have here your selection and you can move your cube away from it. When you want to resize this, this is also possible. You can do it always like this beer holder. Nah, I, I, want, I, I want to change this. I don't think beer holder is a nice word. Well, to do that, you click it open and you're going to go to the text. Which one says beer holder? Mug. Press enter. And now, as you can see, both keep aligned. Now we are going to drag it under our cube. We are going to select the cube one more time again. And we are going to use the alignment tool. You can keep it on align, that's perfectly fine. You can also select the cube as well. Well, we are going to look for our text. Well, in the X axis, we are going to put it in the center. In the Y axis, we are also going to put it in the center. But for the Z axis, so for the height, we have to make sure that our text is going to be visible. As you can see, it's just lay like a little bit on top and that is perfectly fine. And because everything is selected for our align, we are going to subtract. So then you see something like this. You need to make sure that you are going to select the right one. We select align and we click on update. If nothing happens, that is because the computer is doing its thing. You need to be patient, as I do. In the meantime, we can drink some drink. And if it is all done, you will get your embossing like this. Of course, if you don't want to have that, that's also okay. Then you need to make sure to put it higher. So instead of under the upper layer from your cube, you are going to put it a little bit higher. So now that is done, we are going to put it upright. 90 degrees. Then we are going to lift it up, something like that. And now we are going to put some curvature in it. Well, for that we are going to use the curve tool and you will see some standard settings. The diameter is 180. The min size per rotation is 30 and the start percentage is 50. That one I will leave like it is now. And the minimum size per rotation I'm going to put on 100. Enter. Once that is done you see that it is much more smoother. You can increase this one but it will take more calculation time for your computer. So the diameter is now at this moment 180, but we want to have it closed. So we are going to 
say it like 58 because that was the inner diameter from our bottle or 85.5 let the computer do its thing so as you can see it's not fully closed that is perfectly fine we can always go back a few few steps to make it work because eventually my beer bottle needs to fit in or if you do do something else that is also perfectly fine so like this if you want to delete that you can do it like this select curve delete and select that something like this a little bit bigger So, cover here hundreds, and here we make 85.5 of, and now it's perfectly round. Here you have a little seam, but that seems okay for me. So, the Z3DB beer mug. So now we are going to take a round cylinder. Also here, the sides, I'm going to put at 100 because I do think that that looks nice. The height, now let's make this 10. And the diameter is going to be 58.5. So now we are going to line this as well. We are we have already selected the circle, the cylinder. Now we are going to select also our outer side from the mug. And we are going to align that one as well. Center, center, and I think that looks okay. And now we are going to make a handle. Depending on the thing you want for your handle, like that we have two different kind of ones let's take this one the Taurus well we are going to flip it 90 degrees something like that we are putting it higher so well let's make it bigger or wider and also higher Something like that. Something like that. Here you have also sides. Let's take also here hundreds to make it more clean as well. In a diameter, you can always change that if you would like. Five maybe, I don't know. Or maybe uh, 15. Depending on how strong the mug you want to have. 12 I think 12 looks okay decent so but of course if I'm going to put this here in the mark you will get this part in it as well let's remove that one then so let's keep it simple just put it up a little bit closer there something like here and then we are putting it higher I think this looks decent and you can always change that if you would like something like that so for this we are going to align it center no that we don't want center center nice I think this looks nice and now because we have selected guess what we are going to do subtract and then we take the cube as the subtraction and we update it let's do the computer do its thing to calculate it and that one is done if you are going to select the plane you will see that everything is away so 
here. We are going to combine the two together. Now we are going to select them both and we are going to align it in the center. Just take a look which one that you need to have because this one is not the correct one. This one is better. And I think it looks amazing like this. Because everything is selected, we are going to make it into a combined product. And there you have your own beer mug. As you can see, it is looking amazing. Of course, you have a embossing, but of course you can also have the letters on top of it. And it would be almost the same procedure. Make sure when you're going to do that, that the letters are not embossed, but that they are on top of the cube. So slice it and then put it into the printer. So as you can see, here is the result. With a little bit of editing of this video, you can see the beer mug or the Z3DP beer mug holder or how you would call it. The purpose was to show you how matter control works in wrapping text around a round object. It's not very simple to do and sometimes it can be very challenging. But this video I show you how in a few simple steps you can achieve the same kind of thing. Creating some nice little gifts or some other things to show off to other people what you can do with 3D printing. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters. Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by becoming a Patreon for this channel. Your money, your support will offer a lot of extra things that I can do on this channel. Thank you for joining and the link is in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you are there, please check out the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D Prints. Bye bye.